moved around uh, the regions, the six regions, during the regional science fairs to the 15 new schools to conduct the regional science fairs to come up with the projects that can be presented to the national science fair. Um, it was an exciting experience to see students, schools and teachers committed to these science fairs. That these science fairs taught them a lot and see them compete, see them stand the pressure, stand the competition that each school would place, again, uh, would place on another school or a region would place to another region. And you would, uh, it was exciting to see students and teachers and schools perceive the competition or a loss or a win out of each uh, regional science fair. And um, it's also important to know that after the regional science fairs, we proceeded uh, the winning projects, uh, which were a total of 50, 50, 50, 37, had to be presented to the national science fair, which was hosted by St. Joseph's Girls Princess in Zambia on the 13th of uh, August 2011. And that uh, during this national science fair, it was also exciting to see schools also compete at the national level. Now, as we watch this video and as we moved around the schools, the question still remains, what can USEP do to sustain these good and uh, motivational experiences we have impacted in the students, the schools and the teachers themselves. Thank you. If you want to call it science fair, it's organized by Uganda Science Education Program. And Uganda Science Education Program is uh, an organization under the Brothers of Christian Instruction. There are 15 schools, 15 pilot schools in this country which are participating in this program. And uh, the intention or the aims, two major aims of this program. One, to make the teaching of science more interesting and easier so that students can like learning sciences. Instead of having that negative attitude, sciences are very hard, sciences are very hard, sciences are very hard, we are trying to see if we can change the approach, then eventually the students can begin liking sciences instead of treating them. Item number two is or item number two is to see once these students have learned these sciences, can these sciences be productive? Are they able to get to learn some skills instead of leaving the knowledge in the labs? and in the classroom. Majorly those are the two. You say the competition of this science fair right from the beginning. We started from the school levels. Each, each of the 15 schools had a science fair at its own level. Then picked the winning projects which were competed for at the regional level. We had a region in the east, region in the north, two regions in the west, one region in central, and another region in Masaka area. 
now each of these regions sent the winning projects to the national level, which is this one we are holding now. This is the national level and the final level. The theme is meant, we ask them to produce projects, not experiments. The projects we want to see how a group develops a project from beginning to the end. How is this idea uh, thought about? How is it developed? How can it help? Or how can an ordinary person gain from that project? You have seen them making of soap, uh, telephones, uh, use of uh, the use of computers in ordinary life and many others as you have seen or to despair that because in our approach of interesting students in the learning of science is to dispel that attitude of saying science is a very hard science is a very hard we want to see our teachers orienting themselves in easy and simple and interesting to learn. So in our approach, apart from the known apparatus, known what we want the teachers, we want the schools, we want the students also to learn to improvise, to learn to use the environment. There are many things in the environment that can be used to learn, to learn science. If, if you have seen what these students are doing, for instance, the production, I think you must have seen the, I don't know whether you have seen that one, but there is a, a project on the production of soap. These, these, boy, these students are not using imported materials. They are using, I think, ash and some other things and producing soap. This is what we call improvisation. So partners from Netherlands who are helping us. These pioneer schools are being assisted in acquiring science materials. As a matter of fact, at the end of last year, each of these schools got equipment. I said we have friends from Netherlands who are helping us. So each of the schools got equipment from USEP, from Uganda Science Education Program, each. But a good amount of this money was donated to us by our friends and our friends.